one of the most commonly asked questions by the patients is sir what is root canal treatment now in layman term coming to root canal treatment it is the treatment that is carried out within the root canal of the tooth now the next question that poses in their mind is what is this root canal now to explain this root canal i would make use of this picture <coughs> this is a picture of the tooth the outer portion you see is the enamel and the inner portion is called as the dentin and within the dentin what you have is called as the pulp space this pulp space is divided into the pulp chamber which confines to the crown and the portion that confines to the root as the root canal space so any treatment that is carried out within this pulp chamber and the root canal is called as root canal treatment now what are the conditions that advocate root canal treatment generally the pulp space within the tooth is very nicely and comfortably protected by the dentin and by the pulp but due to either decay or because of some trauma or because of an infection from the gums leading to damage to the pulpal tissue from the uh, we call it as a retrograde infection from the apical end of the canal canal we need to remove this entire pulp from the pulp chamber and the root canal and fill this space with an inert material which completely seals this space so that no organisms or fluid from the surrounding bone enters into the root canal and thus cause a secondary infection into the uh, alveolar bone and the tissue beneath so this entire procedure is called as the root canal treatment <coughs> so to sum it up unless the pulp is involved or contaminated either because of caries because of trauma because of uh, infection from the periodontal ligament we need not bother about doing a root canal treatment now coming to root canal treatment <coughs> generally it is done in multiple visits the reason why we carry out the treatment in multiple visits is that firstly the entire treatment of Uh, entire procedure of root canal treatment may take about 1 hour to 1 and 1/2 hours in total that is from the point we gain an access into the pulp chamber and we remove the remaining debris or the infected pulp from the pulp chamber and the root canal then subsequently enlarge the space inside the root so that we are able to place a filling into this empty space so generally we carry out the root canal treatment in three sittings that is in the first sitting we establish access into the pulp chamber and we also determine the length of the root with the help of radiographs or with the help of uh, apex locators and then in the subsequent and uh, then we do place a dressing in the pulp chamber so that if there is any infection within the root canal that can be taken care by the dressing that is placed here maybe for the next 2 to 3 days on the second visit maybe with a gap of about 2 to 3 days we once again open into the pulp chamber and then try to enlarge this root canal space making use of either hand instruments or a rotary instruments or a combination of both hand and rotary instruments and then again once again we close the uh, access which we have created with a temporary filling with a dressing in the pulp chamber which takes care of any residual infection which is there in the root canal 
Then again after a gap of about 2 to 3 days, we give a, second, a third visit. We call the patient on the third visit and on the third visit, we open the access again and then we fill up this space with an inert material called as gutta percha of course with a combination of various types of sealers which could be zinc oxide eugenol based which could be resin based or it could be even sometimes latest now we have the bioceramic materials which are also used as sealers to seal this uh, root canal space. The purpose of this last sitting is to make sure that this entire space is completely obliterated in three dimensions and there is no leakage of any uh, interstitial fluid or microorganisms into the root canal and vice versa. So this completes the root canal treatment. Now as you all know, we are all pressed on time and of course the patients are also in a hurry. They do not want to spend three visits with a dentist to complete one single root canal treatment. And the doctors are also uh, willing to compress these three visits into a single visit and that is what we call as single visit endodontics. But again, we need to be careful while we are selecting case for single visit endodontics because if we select a case which has been badly infected, unless we eradicate this infection within the root canal and the pulp chamber by giving one or two sittings, by giving dressings for one or two settings, we are not going to be sure whether the patient is going to be comfortable after permanently sealing this root canal space. So, we should select cases which we feel that could go in for a single visit endodontics without any post-operative complication to the patients. To sum it up, what I would like to mention is that not all cases can go in for single visit endodontics and the multiple visit endodontics is much, uh, it is a safer bet as compared to single visit endodontics. And the patients who are going in for single visit endodontics must be aware of these consequences, post-operative consequences of the single visit and then not to blame the dentist alone if there are some post-operative complications. Thank you.